So if you've bought the pattern, you'll obviously have these two items here. So if you cut those out, um, they should look like this. You'll also need some fabric for the top of your pad, some fabric for the back of your pad, and <clears throat> some fabric for the inside of your pad. You'll also need some scissors, some pens, and you'll also need something to apply the snaps unless you use sew on ones. Um, <clears throat> so I've got a snap press. Um, some people have a handheld one, but whichever one you've got, or as I say, use sew on ones. So what I'm going to do first is cut out this piece. And as you can see, this is just an old thin towel that I've had for a long time that I think I bought it from Ikea and it's a bit discoloured now so I'm going to use it for the inside and obviously you won't see this bit. I like to use a sharpie to draw around because the towel in it's a little bit easier to do that. Okay so I'm literally just drawing around it with my sharpie. Stick the lid on so it doesn't dry out and there you have the first part. I'm going to use my scissors to cut around this. And with this part, you're going to just cut on the line. So with mine, it's a pant liner and I literally just do one layer. And so once you've got the layer of the, the layer of fabric of the outer and the backing, I find that that's enough for me. If you need it thicker, make it thicker. And with the back in, instead of using this sheen um, fabric that I've got, you could actually use PUL or some other waterproof back in. So now I'm going to cut the topping fabric, get my pattern. As you can see, it's got this little tab here, and that's your turning tab for when you turn it round the other way and for this I just use a normal a normal pen okay so what you've got your sewing line here which is the line we've just drawn and then when you cut it out you're going to kind of cut it out a little bit wider there to allow yourself a bit of a seam allowance okay so I've got my line drawn there and I'm now going to cut around so as I said you're not going to cut on the line because that's your sewing line. What you're going to do is you're going to kind of sew, I mean, sorry, you're going to cut around like this. Now here, this is your tab where you're going to turn it. And it really does help if you have a little bit of extra there. It makes it much easier when you're turning it. Here we have the outer, which is this. We have the inner, which is this. So we, now all we need to do is cut the backing for here. Okay. Right, what we have here is the backing fabric that I'm using. You, you can use any backing fabric you like. You could use two lots of your top material if you wanted to. Um, but I just use this because I've just got quite a lot of it and it works well for what I need. Now, you don't need to use your pattern to cut this out. You can if you want to, but I find it much easier to do this. I have my piece there and what I do so I just grab some scissors we'll move on to sewing the item together I've got my pin cushion here and I've laid my inner out onto my outer fabric that we cut before Okay, couple there, and then what I tend to do is make sure it's laid out properly there and sort of smooth it out a bit. Hi 
I've now got my inner pinned to my outer, that's the top outer, and I'm going to just sew around here and attach it to the outer. Um, you can use a straight stitch or a zigzag if you want to. I'm just going to use a straight stitch just now. There we go. So that is the inner is now attached to the top. I've got my pins out again. And now what I'm going to do, you've got this so that the inside is facing upwards. And I'm now going to pin this to the outside back sheet. So, there we have it. That is actually pinned all the way around. And we'll move on to the sewing machine again. So we're back at the sewing machine and I'm going to start sewing all around this edge. And I tend to start on this bit here, on the other side of this flappy bit that's going to be turned in when we turn it round the right way. And what we do is we stop at the edge of that so that it's the equivalent of that on the other side and then I'm now going to cut around the edge closer to my stitch line obviously I'm not going to cut on the stitch line um, but it's good I'm using pinking shears I find them quite quite useful so what I'm going to do is cut around this edge What I'm going to do here is in these inside curves, I'm just going to take a little snip here and there. Close, but not too close to the sew line. Just means when you turn it around the other way, it means that these bits will lay nice and flat instead of being all crumpled or tight. Now we're going to turn it the right way round. So here's our little flap that we left unsewn here. So what I tend to do is to pull through the backing first and tuck that little bit through first of all. Give this a good press so that it's laying nice and flat. And I tend to have a pin just stuck in my ironing board so that I can just double check those seams to make sure that they're all pulled out. And if not, I just give it a little, a little pull with the pin. I'm now just tucking the tabs in. I'm now back at the machine and I'm going to be doing the top stitching around the edge of the pad. So this is where this foot comes in pretty useful because you can really see where you're sewing. So here's my snaps and my press. I'm now going to make the holes ready to put my snaps in. I, mean, I don't mark any, I don't mark where I'm going to put the holes, but I do make sure that it's not kind of pulled over like this and I make sure it isn't too far over like this. Just make sure it's kind of like nicely, nicely put in there. Just take my glasses off. Okay, so both sides 
that's pretty level so then I kind of just lift it up and then I just make a hole There we go. We've now got our pad finished and ready to use. <laughs>